Fellow Nigerians, I beg, make sure I don't share this particular video you guys are seeing on this background. Go where Igbo people did because me myself no say as this video now start to trend on social media, many Igbo people go reply this man. Hey, this man don't finally come out for this viral video you guys are seeing on this background. Go tell Igbo people. Me no blessing on my mouth not here. Make sure I spread the video. Make sure I share and make other Nigerians. See here waiting at the here because I don't want to talk. Me no bless say na my mat na tell you now. See guys, just enjoy the video and I'll be back. One of the greatest things that happened to me was that God made it possible for me to be posted to Igbo land and to Aba in particular. If you don't believe in God, I sorry for you. The Bible says the fool says in his heart that there is no God. You know, I didn't, uh, my name did not appear in the NYC uh, posting list. So I went to their office personally and they posted me by hand to Imo State. Then Imo and Abia were joined together. And when I got to Igbo land, I saw story buildings in some of the streets like Fox Road area. You can stay on top of your, you can stay in your um, balcony and shake somebody in another four-story building. They are so close to other, each other. And they were young men building them. Then on Nietzsche, Oweri and all that. Then I decided to study these people. I studied the Igbo man. I gave my children Igbo names because they treated me very well and they loved me. So I decided to study them instead of criticizing them. I found three key principles. Number one, communalism. Number two, enterprise and hard work. Number three, frugality and delayed gratification. Where do I start from? Um, communalism. That is to say, Kalu starts a business. Kalunta will join. Kalo Kalo will join. And each of them contributes towards the building of that business. One will serve the other one. If that one has served, when it reaches a point, it will settle the other one like that like that and then wealth grows in the family i came from my travel the young man that was helping me to do videos in the farm I've, i was i've been trying to mentor him but one problem some people have is they think that they know more than those who know they think that they see more than people who are visionary I've tried to position him severally. He has not followed my instructions. And I usually tell him, now you sabi, when we were there in the farm, now you sabi. But I want to give him an amount of money to start his life. But there was a problem I had. He said, I told him to do this point of sale POS business. With the money I will give to him, you should be able to make 3,000 Naira daily. That will be 90,000 Naira a month because even on Sunday, people will come. Ah, he said, is it that business that girls do? He doesn't know that some of those girls are employed by men. Well, he's hungry. But I will give him the money because God instructed me to give it to him. So if we keep settling people around us, wealth will flow if they are reasonable, if they are reasonable. So, the next thing is hard work and enterprise. An Igbo man can turn anything to a successful business. He puts his life, puts his energy into it. Hard work. And I copied that. Uh, yesterday, I, I was on top of bike. Policeman will see me, doctor. I needed to use that bike for fast movement 
and disguise. But they were still recognizing me. I went to look at the properties I had acquired, the ones I sold to people, I made sure they are still intact. I trekked and trekked and trekked until evening time. Hard work. I do I, I was working in the farm. I when I when I started life, I would work in the hospital, go to a choir bomb to see patients, to take care of lepers, preach, do all that, take care of prisoners. I did a lot of hard work. It will pay. Once you're intelligent, work hard. You become more successful than an intelligent man that does not work hard. Then delayed gratification. That is where I want to anchor this message. We drove to Munster in Germany from Lunen. And we went to a restaurant. If you pay a certain amount of money, you can eat whatever you like. It's a buffet. My eldest son, my second son, who is my third child, my grandson, their two wives, and I. And we sat down. I ate octopus. I ate um, shrimps. I ate kangaroo meats. I ate all kinds of things. I, I, I had the experience in uh, Durban in South Africa. I, I was a full mumu. I went there and just collected one big plate. After eating down, the girls would come, please, you can still go for more. You can still go for more. I said, hey, mumu, you don't come here, bushman. You just carry food like thief. So the next time, <laughs> the next time, we went to the biggest shopping mall in the southern hemisphere then and i learned the secret you don't take too much at once so i took umpala meat i took ostrich meat duck meat kudu i was just taking small 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 tasting all the different types you see different types of ice cream that was in uh, 2004 2003 so uh, we, we ate, ate, and we were tired. If you forget where they gave you umbrella. Oh no, if you forget where rain started beating you, you won't remember to return the umbrella they gave to you. I remember when I sold the hospital, as I was sitting with my sons there, when I sold the hospital and we went into ministry. My wife, my wife, she just followed me. Not knowing where we were going to. We left her back, came to really, You know, the enthusiasm with which you, you answer the call is not the same enthusiasm. <laughs> it's not the same euphoria when the reality dawns. I had... Uh, Four children, Ajebota children, doctors' children that have never suffered before. Suddenly things changed. One of the things you will experience in ministry is that I did not call you. Samuel was told by Eli, I did not call you. Say, go. When he speaks, say, here am I. Listen, a lot of pastors, a lot of people get dissatisfied with their general overseers. They did not call you. It is God that called you. I was going to Umbano and we drove past a hotel that I stayed with my wife. That hotel, that's when we started ministry newly at Umbinze. You, you use that bolt to bolt it. The bucket was slimy. Generator goes off by 12. Meanwhile, the church service does not start by 10. Until 10, the people go to the farm, come back. And then you stay till around 12. Go back, generator is off. Okay, the, the generator stayed till, uh, till 6. Yes. 
36 slimy bucket with my wife. When I drove past that place, I said, time changes a lot of things. Your family members will think that you are crazy, particularly when you are the second doctor from your community. You say you had a call, call, call me. Somebody said, this is doctor that most of us want our children to become. This man became doctor. He said he wants to be a pastor. What is it? Then we see pastor. Then we see pastor. What is it? What is called pastor? That's how people look at you. All those of you make like this. Then we see pastor. Huh? My landlord told me, brethren, to feed these children was a problem. Tissue paper, soap. They were not used to suffering. And I said, God, if these children don't get a little taste of life, they will hate the church. They will hate ministry. Now, two people that gave me umbrella when rain started beating me, amongst many others, very prominent among many others, Reverend Evans Daniels and his wife, Ego Daniels. Reverend John Eze and his wife, CPM Ujikele and CPM Furo. Reverend John Eze was the first person when I was called. I told him I wanted to go and preach somewhere in Ijebode, but my things needed to be taken to Ogele. He said I can send the things. He booked a hotel for me. I still remember the hotel in Ogbo Hill. Stayed there with my wife. Gave us money to feed. I don't forget that. And then when I go to preach, his wife, very, very, very wonderful cook, will prepare a lot of meals. Buy margarine, uh, beverages, milk, everything. Same thing with Mrs. Uh, Evans Daniels, Ego Daniels. Always remember what you left behind. Always remember those you left behind. Always remember where you are coming from. I was always conscious of the fact that I left a wife and children at home. Thank you for watching that video. So guys, before you leave, Look at the top here, you will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram and also on YouTube so that everyone out there will see this video. So guys, see you guys some other time.